the Wave Rover 650, a design based on my solo ocean crossings. She's small, light, and yet easy to build, but strong enough to cross any ocean. My name's Alan Mulholland, and this is the Wave Rover story. best part of any sail is when that engine turns off. Absolutely. Oh, look at that. I can feel a little breeze now. It's a good call. It looks good. Hey Skipper, what do you think? Oh, it's a beautiful day. Could you use a few knots more wind? Yeah. I think it's nice. You know, it's not no, not self tether. I think that's self tether. No, you like the like the front. No, it is the front. Oh it is the front. Yeah, that's what they call it. Yes, the front. Yep, yep, exactly. <laughs> Forge your own adventure. Forge your own adventure! Well, even in these ultra-light conditions, I mean, you can barely see a ripple on the water, we're still making headway. Um, not much, but we're making headway up this creek against a current. Now, mind you, the current is just running against us just a tiny bit. She changed probably about 45 minutes ago. I have the engine idling just in case I get a little close to either the shore or uh, any other boats. So it's just a safety precaution. It's a bit of drag, but it's a uh, safety, safety precaution. I've got Stephen on Turtle right beside me. I've got Kokachin uh, up ahead and Wave Rover occupying the middle ground. Amazingly, three different types of sails, but in these light conditions, it's uh, not a big difference. Uh, Kokachin certainly seems to have a little more power, but um, not a whole lot I mean but they are light conditions and the like I said the current is just beginning to run against us but you know it's kind of fun to do this light where light air sailing and it, and it really comes down to a bit of luck because you get these little lifters coming off the water and you can't actually count on them to be where you are at the right time There's Kokachin uh, just tacking. You can kind of see how they've stalled out a bit after attack, but then they have the mass to keep working through the tack, let their sails fill up, and then they'll come and tighten up again. Awesome. Terrific. We've got Wave Rover, Turtle, and Kokachin in the background. It's almost like the America's Cup race for junk rig vessels. 
Canadian entries too polite to uh, jump into first place. Bear Creek Bridge Control, Bear Creek Bridge Control. This is the sailing vessel Wave Rover, Wave Rover, Wave Rover on 1-3, over. This is Bear Creek Bridge. Bear Creek Bridge, this is the sailing vessel Wave Rover. I am northbound in Bear Creek requesting a bridge opening, over. Roger that, Kappa. You, will you be returning back through today? Uh, negative. I'll be in for 36 hours. Over. Roger that, Cap. We'll go ahead and open on up for you. Have a good day. Thank you very much. There we go. The bridge is opening. We can increase speed. is opening. It doesn't matter how many times I do this, I get a thrill out of it.
Bear Creek Bridge. This is the sailing vessel Wave Rover. Thank you very much. This is Bear Creek Bridge. Roger that, Captain. No problem. You have a good day. Hey Rovers, if you find these videos inspirational, educational, or just downright entertaining, consider becoming a patron. There's a link in the video description and it doesn't cost you anything to check it out. Now next week, next week is going to be probably one of my most controversial videos. I'm going to be comparing and contrasting the junk rig sails, the flat cut like Wave Rover has versus the camber cut like all the boats at the um, junket that I was just at last week like they have. Well, this is probably going to be, like I said, my most controversial video. I think I'll be pulling the pin on that grenade and tossing it out there. I expect a lot of comments. What I do expect also is keep those comments friendly and helpful. Thank you. As always, Rovers, thanks for watching and forge your own adventure.